Monkeypox is a cousin of smallpox. Uh, thankfully, it is not as severe as smallpox, but people can be, you know, sick enough to, to miss work and have skin lesions that are, you know, disconcerting and, and uh, upsetting to people. Um, it's primarily spread by close contact, you know, very close contact. It's not nearly as contagious as, say, SARS-CoV-2, which is easily spread by the respiratory route. There may be some respiratory spread of the monkeypox virus, but the vast majority of cases are people who, who have very close contacts. Um, so it is unlikely to cause a widespread outbreak like we saw, of course, with, with SARS-CoV-2. Um, it is, a, a, again, a cousin of smallpox. If you're old enough to have had the smallpox vaccine, you have good protection, maybe not complete, but good protection against monkeypox. And it can be controlled like smallpox. It has a long in incubation and you can immunize people uh, who've been exposed and, and control monkeypox that way. There are two vaccines that are similar to the, or the, the smallpox vaccine that work. There are medications. I don't think it's gonna be anything like the pandemic we saw with SARS-CoV-2, but it has spread more in the last few months than it has in, 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 in previous outbreaks. And uh, if people have it, um, refer to CDC information on how to treat it, how to control it. What distinguishes monkeypox are the skin lesions. So people can have what we call viral prodome, fever and muscle aches for a couple of days, uh, but the skin lesions, you know, somewhat similar to smallpox and, and chicken pox, um, you know, vesicles, other skin lesions that are somewhat unique. Um, so an illness with some, maybe some fever, malaise, followed by these unique skin lesions, you know, vesicles, other skin lesions uh, could prompt someone to seek medical attention to be assessed for monkeypox. In the great majority of individuals, monkeypox is an inconvenient illness with uh, you know, fever, systemic symptoms, and, and a rash. But beyond that, um, there's little long-term consequences and the mortality rate is very low. Individuals who've had a high-risk exposure can get uh, vaccinated uh, uh, very quickly and that protects them. This is how smallpox was controlled in the world. The smallpox was a very serious, you know, horrible infection. It's, it's the one disease that's been eliminated by modern medicine. And one way it was eliminated was what's called concentric vaccination, where you, you vaccinate contacts and then contacts of contacts and then contacts of contacts of contacts, and you can control the virus that way. Monkeypox is similar in that if you're, have a high risk exposure, you can go get a vaccine and that can prevent the illness. I don't think monkeypox will become a widespread concern. I think what, uh, what keeps uh, public health epidemiologists up at night uh, are more respiratory viruses, you know, a new flu strain that's ver very serious and highly contagious, things like that. Monkeypox deserves attention, des deserves effort, but I don't think it's something that uh, the general public needs to concern themselves with a lot.